Yeah, we need to fix this. And to fix this, we're going to build a giant chest which contains a storage system. But to make things interesting, the chest will be open and I'll build a castle inside. Oh, and it will be on a custom mountain as well. I will also split this video into two parts, with this one being what I just explained. And in part two, we build a raid farm to get tons of redstone to build the actual storage system. So to start off, I made some golden carrots and started searching for a mesa biome to get the blocks we need for the giant chest. Um, that's not the mesa biome. Wanna join a new Minecraft server? Well, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Apera GX. Imagine your boring browser is an empty world with spectator mode. Not many possibilities. With Apera GX, you get creative mode and all possibilities to customize your browser. You can choose between special themes or wallpapers or just build your theme from scratch and pick colors you like the most and upload your own wallpaper. You can even pick one of many animated wallpapers which you can find on Opera Adams. But surely the best part about Opera GX is this little icon. With GX control you can set the amount of RAM and CPU the browser is allowed to use. Have too many tabs open? No problem. Just set the maximum RAM amount allowed and Opera GX won't use more so you don't have to worry about closing your tabs to get better gaming performance. Opera GX is basically an all-in-one place browser. Use your favorite music streaming platform right Right from inside the browser. Even Discord or WhatsApp can be used inside the browser. And to top it all, Opera GX just launched a Minecraft server with game modes like survival multiplayer, survival games, mini games and more. Join competitions, giveaways and events by joining their Discord server and see details at the Minecraft section. Hop on the server using this IP, start customizing your browser experience by downloading Opera GX for free using my link in the description and thanks to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. After quite some time, I found the Mesa biome and set up a beacon to start mining terracotta. There was also a wandering trader showing up. He somehow disappeared, so I started mining. Now there are two types of terracotta I need for the giant chest. For yellow, I can just do this. But for the brown terracotta, which is actually grey, like why is grey terracotta brown? I had to kill some squids to get the grey dye. Alright, I think... This gray, this amount of gray terracotta, yeah, this is actually brown, that's not gray, that's gray, that's brown. Should be enough to make the outlines for the big chest, which is going to be right here, but not on the floor. Instead, it's going to be on a mountain, which we have to build as well. So let me just grab some dirt, like that high. The chest is 14 pixels wide and high. So we're going to double that, like we're building a 2x2 two two for one pixel. And since we're building a double chest, this chest is going to be 56 blocks wide. Alright, let's just start building the frame. Now, if that's not a big chest, should definitely fit all items inside that. Yeah, that, that's that's quite a lot of room. And I just made the right amount of gray terracotta. I even have some left. But now, we gotta grab the yellow terracotta, of which we will need a lot more. Boom, bam, bam, pow. Yeah, there we go. Full inventory of that. And start placing the floor in here. And as you probably can see, I'm placing the walls like one block deeper so this chest doesn't look that flat but yeah let's uh, roll another time lapse i forgot to press start recording i'm sorry Alright, 
Well, it's just turned out pretty big compared to my village. Uh, oh, oh, ah, that, that not good. Uh, we'll handle that later. Um, we need to build the lock on top first. And I think I would just use some regular stone and andesite for that. Just like that. Now we also got the lock up there. Now let's quickly handle the tiny mob problem down here. Yeah, that's a lot of mobs. Torches. Ah. Now with the mob problem sorted, we have to do quite some terraforming now. Luckily, we got tons of stone in here, which we will need for this terraforming. But I guess we have to get some dirt because that's not that's not much. And since this is so much terraforming work, I think I will do this step by step. Like starting off with a cliff right here because I want to have a cliff on this side. So let's just start with the cliff. This is going to take a while. I don't know, but this just took me about half an hour now or 20 minutes. So let me just figure out a design for the front. Maybe we will do something like this as well right here in front of the chest but that's going to be a time lapse again so yeah enjoy the time one whole hour later and oh boy do i love this and the cliffs just look amazing but the unfortunate part Ah, uh, we still got a lot to do right here. And since I'm out of grass and dirt, we gotta grab some more. Oh boy. It's just a chest, but I somehow really like that belt. Anyways, I've been busy for another hour. And yeah, we're at the final straight. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. And for the backs out right here, the final part, which is missing right here. I think I'm gonna just continue this stone wall right there and grow it until it reaches the height of this cliff right here. And to my surprise, I think I still have enough dirt for that. Let's just grab all that and hop straight back into the next time lapse. Oh, and uh, make sure to let me know what we what we should build in, in this empty space down here. Because we got plenty of room down here. And the chest itself will be the storage system. What do we build down here? Anyways, time lapse time. All right. With the transforming done, it is now time to build the castle, for which we first need a floor. I set up my materials and start working on the castle layout. And to be honest, I had no idea what I'm doing. Although I built a castle before last season, but usually I don't know how to build a castle, and I'm just hoping that it turns out good. But with the layout set, I just started building it up by 4 blocks using stone, andesite and polished andesite. I thought that would be a good looking texture. And once the layout was 4 blocks tall, I just started building the main house of the castle using the same design I used for my village houses. And to make it look castle like, I implemented a castle tower. Now I really like the castle part of the main house, so I decided to build a stone only house right next to the main house. And then, I just finished the other buildings. Alright! Wait, hey! What's up? Trying to take over the castle, huh? That, that's not your castle, that, that's mine. It, it's not even finished. Now the basic castle is pretty much done now. I mean, there's still a lot of things to do. Right now it's just looking a little flat. And yeah, we're missing some details like... All the oh, oh, gee! 
But so far, I'm pretty happy with the basic shape of the castle. And yeah, I just forgot to place torches everywhere. So let's just quickly do that. All right, and let's just go ahead and add some terrain in here. All right, let's also add some terrain on this side. Let's also grab some uh, leaves for custom trees. Well, that's not too bad. I think a smaller birch tree right here would fit as well. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll stick with normal trees. Let's also add a path right here. And actually, I mean an entrance. All right, let's just add like the windows which are missing and then the castle should be done. All right, I've added the windows and I can still hear zombies. Ouch, ouch, get back. That, no go. No, no, no. All right, uh, where was I? Yeah, I, I've also made this and I think you can probably tell what this is. Nice. And where do we put the dragon head? Yeah, I like that. Now I like the cave too, but since we need some sort of purpose for this castle, and we have way more room in that castle than we had in this little cave right here. But yeah, since we need some sort of purpose for this castle, I think the gallery item collection showcase area thing is exactly what this castle should be for. And in the next episode, we're going to build the storage room inside the chest. Boy, this looks so amazing, even from down here. Now the only problem is, yeah, I just made even more mess. But in the next episode, that's no issue anymore. Now look at that. Beautiful. But as in every episode, we have to name some villagers now. But since I had no emeralds left, I grabbed some carrots to get some more. And after a quick visit at the library and getting some name tags, it was time to choose a house. Which turned out to be this one. And oh boy, look at that background. Anyways, let's decorate. You guys also told me in the comments that I can trap the villagers with carpet as well. I was skeptical at first, but after placing the rails and grabbing one villager to test, it actually worked. He's trapped, so I brought two more. Now for the names, we got Propoki, who wanted to be an armorer, which is why I placed the blast furnace. JJ Fortran said I have a German accent. Well, that's because I am German and Pablo actually wants to be a librarian. So... There we go. Alright, now with the main project for this episode done, I just wanna make things look a little better in this area right here. Like I did in the village with adding some trees and rocks, connecting the paths. But also, you guys definitely need to let me know where, how and what entrance I should make for the chest. Like I could just do a little entrance down here or something like that. And there is a lot of mobs down here, Jesus. Yo, that's a full diamond zombie. We need that guy. Oh, no, 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 no. You have no chance, my friend. He's full diamond. Let's get some torches in here. Kill the creepers. There we go. Woo. All right. I don't know, but this guy, this guy gotta be rare, right? Full diamond zombie naturally spawned. And what is going on with his head? Like, what the? Alright, anyways, like I said, I don't know if I should make like an entrance right here, since we have the path right here. I don't know, this doesn't look too good. So please just let me know in the comments if you have any good idea on 
how the entrance for this chest should look like. But now, let me just quickly fix up the area right here, make all this look good. And after connecting paths, placing trees and rocks, the area was looking good. I know some of you want me to build custom trees, but as we learned earlier, I'm not the best tree builder. Now there we go, the final result. And I'm really happy with how this castle inside a chest on a mountain fits to the rest of the area. But that's it for today's episode, I really hope you enjoyed and I'm sorry this video is a little late but I had some real struggles with my PC and I'm already working on getting a new one. I also had to wait quite a while to get the go for the ad in this video. I will promise I'll do my best to get part 2 out as fast as possible. But until then, see you in the next episode. German potato, over and out. Bye bye.